and welcome to Monday's Pocket Painting, our little mini painting for the week. We're going to do bluebirds and berries. Excuse my voice, I've got a little bit of a cold. Now I've sketched out my little bluebird. I'm going to wet his wings just with some clean water. And I've got a mix of Payne's Gray and Ultramarine Blue that I'm going to use for his wings. And while it's wet, I'm just going to drop that mixture in there and let the water do the blending. And I'm just going to add a little more paint where I want the shadows to be just a little darker. This is just a simple painting. It'd be perfect for a Christmas tag or a little note to someone. You could attach it to a, a bigger card and just make a cute little note out of it, note card. It's three and a half by three and a half. So now I'm wetting the top of his head and I've still got a little blue on my, on my paintbrush, but that's okay because I'm just gonna add more blue paint to it anyway. But you would really wanna do that with clean water, especially if you're using a different color than blue. But for this one, it's okay. And I'm just adding a little bit darker color darker shade of that blue just has a little more Payne's gray in it to where I want the shadow areas again I'm sorry about my voice but I've been sick all week long <laughs> and I just can't seem to shake this cold so now I'm just painting his tail um, just straight onto the dry paper I didn't wet it first so we've got that blue taken care of so now we're going to work on the berries I've got a little Windsor red and I've got a little bit of burnt sienna a little bit of cadmium red all mixed together and <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do is wet each berry and I'm going to remember to leave a little spot of the paper dry because that'll be the berries highlight that I'm adding some of the cadmium yellow and then a little bit of the Windsor Red while that's still wet, letting them bleed and blend in together. And I'm just gonna do each berry the same way. I'm gonna wet it down with some water, even though my water is a little colored because I haven't rinsed my brush off, but it's okay because I'm gonna use these same colors. Now, if I had blue on my brush, of course I would wash it out completely, but I don't, I have red and yellow, so I'm not worried about it. And we're just gonna work our way around the berries wetting them leaving a little dry spot of the paper for the highlight adding cadmium yellow and windsor red and letting the water blend them together and we're going to do that for every patch of berries and um i'm not going to make you watch me paint every berry so We've got the berries painted, everything's dry. We're gonna wet his chest and his chin, partially way, par partially down his body with clean water. And then we're gonna add that Windsor Red and Burnt Sienna mix. And that's what I'm also gonna use for the shadows of the berries. But we're just gonna drop that into that water and let the water do the blending. I'm leaving a little light area in the largest part of his breast so it'll be sort of like a little highlight and then I'm pulling some of that down onto the dry paper of his bottom of his bottom of his belly toward the bottom of his belly just so that it looks fringy fringy like feathers and a little bit more paint in some areas where I want it to be just a little bit darker Now I'm just picking up some of that um, lamp black that I've gotten. Of course, my finger got in the way, so the camera focused on my finger, but I'm just painting in the beak. I'm not doing anything special. You can do this without being able to see it clearly. Then I'm gonna paint in his eye and leave a tiny white dot for the highlight. So that little part of the paper is dry. And we're just gonna leave that little highlight there. I might add a little bit more around here to the edge clean that edge up a little bit so his eyes not jiggity jaggedy. I'm just dipping back into that blue mixture we made earlier and just drawing in a few details. Again, we're not trying to draw a really realistic bird. We're just doing a little stylized bird, adding a few feathers here and there. And just trying to add a little shadow onto his beak. And 
Now I've just got a little bit of Payne's Gray and it's very diluted. It has a lot of water in it. And I'm just doing a shadow right on his little underbelly. Just so that you can see and kind of separate it from the background that he does have a little white belly there. And then I'm going to take some of that darker orangey or brown color and make the shadows for the berries. And then I'm just taking clear water and blending that pigment, that paint, over the rest of the berry. You can also dab in a little bit more of the cadmium yellow and let that sort of push that red paint to the side. And it gives it a nice little blush on there. It's really pretty. And I'm just going to continue doing the same technique on all of the berries. And of course, I'm not going to bore you and make you watch every single brush stroke. You know how to do a berry after you've watched a couple of them. It's all the same thing. Just the same technique. So now we are just going to move on. His, be his belly and head and everything is dry. And you see we finished the berries. I finished those. And I'm letting those dry. And I'm just taking just the same exact color that I used on his chest here. And I'm doing another layer. I'm just glazing another layer of sort of shadow and texture over that where the shadows would be. Again, we're just doing a cute little stylized bird. We're not trying to do, you know, major, major Michelangelo here. We're just working on doing a cute bird. So now I've got some dark brown and some it's more, more of a red brown. And I'm just going to paint in the paint, the paintbrush. The, <laughs> I'm telling you, when you got a cold, you can't think. The branch, the brown branch that he's perched on. And just paint in some of those little stems that are holding the berries to the branch. I'm leaving a few little white areas of the paper to shine through so it gives it some texture and some highlights. And I am just going ahead and putting in a few little empty branches and some of the branches we'll put, we'll put some leaves on just to give it another color in there. Probably mix up some green. I'm going to darken the under part of the branch with a little bit of that Payne's Gray or either lamp black, whichever one you want to use, just to give it some hot shadows. And I'm also just going in the really, really dark areas, shadows where some darker shadows would be on the berries, and putting in that really dark red mixture and just blending it out with a little bit of clean water. But I'm not going over the whole berry. I want the I want the shadow to stay pretty pretty local right where I put it. I don't want it to spread out over the whole berry. And we'll just do all the little berries with a few shadows. Now you can make the shadows a little wider than this if you like. I'm just showing you how. Then I just took some sap green and added a little water. It's a watery sap green. And I'm just painting in some little leaf shapes. Nothing fancy. And it's mainly just to give it a little contrast with all of that red that we've got in there. And then at the very ends, I'm just adding some of the blue that we used on the bird just to give it a dark area. You know, just to give it a little bit of dimension there. I think I'm going to also put a few leaves at the top here. And then just darken those up with a little bit of that sort of blue that we used in the bird. While it's still wet, I'm just dropping it in and darken those up. And that gives it just a little bit of dimension. Just just a little bit. We're not we're not going crazy here. And I'm just gonna make him have sort of a little indention over his eye, a little shadow, like he has a brow. And just put in a few more little lines, just using that same blue mixture. It's another layer, so of course it's gonna darken it up. And there you have your Monday mini painting, our little pocket painting for Monday. And it would make just the cutest little gift tag or card. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss a video. And I will see you next week.